The last section was power packed with lots of information on webinars, town halls, and I learned quite a lot um, learning about Microsoft ECDN to make the user experience better on these uh, webinars and town halls. All right, so in this section, Mark is gonna help us understand what are virtual appointments in Teams Premium and how can you configure these virtual appointments and who are the right audience or who is this virtual appointments for? Let's go and find out how. All right, a couple more things uh, that I'll run through and then, then we'll wrap up. Um, um, the next set of capabilities uh, that's included with uh, Teams Premium is, is the ability for um, virtual appointments. Um, now we have uh, virtual appointments in the in the Teams core licensing. What Teams Premium allows us to do is bring in uh, some additional reporting um, and some additional uh, capability in order to see, for example, who's waiting in a queue. Um, and when we're talking about virtual appointments, we're really talking about um, uh, business to consumer interactions. So, you know, often an example that's used is, you know, a telehealth appointment. Uh, maybe you've got a, a um, an appointment with your accountant or other other kind of professional well, where you need to meet with them, uh, but you can't meet with them face to face uh, for whatever reason. Um, we've got uh, a virtual appointments app inside of Teams, and I'll show you what that looks like. Um, and I'll also show you some of the capability that's that's improved um, with Teams Premium. Um, so first things first, um, we need the virtual appointments app. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, stop sharing this screen and I'm going to jump to my other tenant to show you uh, what that looks like. Okay, so here is my uh, Teams client. Um, and in the side rail, I've got a virtual appointments app. Um, uh, this app can be added um, through the kind of more apps button here. Uh, I've just pinned uh, this app uh, to this to this Teams client, uh, and that's something you can do as well via an admin policy if you need to pin this to multiple uh, user Teams clients. So here we have uh, the virtual appointments um, dashboard. So the example here is is Corey is a um, uh, someone who can be booked uh, for a particular appointment type, um, and I can see here um, when I go across to the schedule, I can see I've got a couple of um, uh, appointments coming up in my calendar. I've got a, an initial consult with Mark um, and another one uh, with Clark Kent uh, later in the day. Um, this is all kind of out of the box capability from the, the virtual appointments app. Um, when we start to think about what is a premium capability, and you can see here, we've got uh, that marked by a, a diamond here. This jumps off to our documentation about um, what's included uh, from, a, from a premium perspective but largely it's the, the queuing capability. So I can come in here and I can see uh, exactly uh, who's in the queue, whether they've joined the meeting yet. Um, and I can just say, you know, here's the appointment that I need to join. I can come and click here and, and join it. Um, the other thing that we get here is some really rich analytics. Um, and because this is a demo tenant, there's not a lot of analytics available uh, at the moment. Um, uh, if I run maybe the last 90 days, I might have one or two appointments in there that I've that I've demoed previously. But um, you can see things like, you know, what was the average uh, wait time? People were in the lobby, uh, who attended? Um, uh, were there any SMSs involved in, in kind of uh, reminding um, them to turn up? Um, we can also have, you know, what was the average duration? Um, how many bookings were made? How many people didn't show up? So this is a really powerful, um, uh, platform, you know, if you're looking to to host or, or have the ability to host um, uh, people in an appointment style scenario, this is absolutely um, the way to go. Um, when I look at the schedule, I can uh, book my own appointments. Uh, I can also have uh, an external booking page that I can uh, publish uh, that my users can come to or my customers can come to uh, and and schedule a um, uh, an appointment. Um, so you can see here, I've got uh, the ability to put in names, uh, who is going to be in that particular appointment. Uh, so, you know, typically you would have, you know, 10 agents or, or 10 people that can take a particular appointment. Um, uh, I can select that person. Uh, and one of the really uh, powerful things here is um, 
we can have attendees join from a, a web browser. And what this means is uh, they don't have to download the Teams client uh, to be able to join this meeting. They can just join directly from their browser uh, on their device, um, as I said, without having to uh, download the client. Um, in some markets, we also allow um, for uh, text message um, reminders um, and uh, we can um, in here if, if we had a, a booking uh, let me see if I can adjust this um, I can say allow for text message notifications um, uh, and then once that's saved I can come back to the schedule uh, sorry back to the queue um, uh, and and I should be able to send a, a text reminder here. Um, in uh, many markets around the world, this is a feature that is available. Uh, in Australia, where, where I am, uh, this is not yet available, but but is a, a roadmap feature that's coming. So if you want the ability to SMS uh, folks to remind them of their appointment, um, uh, either ahead of time or at appointment time uh, with, the, with the right links uh, so they can access it uh, really quickly, this is the way to go. So wow. who typically uses the appointment feature? Like, is it uh, like um, a consultant or, or like an insurance broker where they have an appointment, they schedule it? I'm trying yeah, to you got out. it. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, um, you know, we've got to uh, think about any, any scenario where you need to have um, uh, an appointment. So it could be an appointment with your doctor, could be an appointment yeah. with your an accountant, could be an appointment. Um, uh, with with any kind of any scenario you can think of right um the the people that would need virtual appointments are the are the organizations providing that service so uh, if i was a uh, a doctor surgery or an account accountant practice or uh you know it, we even see a, a lot of usage of this in the in the public sector so for mm. for uh, government to citizen engagements um you know that the the benefit of it is that uh, as an employee uh, of, of the, the organization providing that service, I can do it all from my Teams client. I don't need to get out of my Teams client into a separate app uh, to host that that uh, appointment. Uh, it's mm. all there uh, right in kind of my flow of work um, all the time. All right, got it, thanks.